Hello everyone, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I recently just purchased the Viper Mark III, which is the largest ship that I've had so far, and one of the most expensive, because it was 142,000 credits. But I saved up enough for it, and now I have it. And I'm currently having my SRV transported here. Um, which is the vehicle hangar. And it looks like it's around four minutes still. I have to wait. But, uh, yeah, I recently got a Mark III Viper, and it's super cool because it's much more durable and stuff. And I'll actually walk around the cockpit a little bit. It's got a little bit of a low ceiling, at least because I'm really tall. But, yeah. And there's the door, I guess, for probably the vehicle bay if I... Well, when I install it. Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah, the positional tracking on the Rift is light, wide enough that I can walk around quite a bit. In fact, it looks like... The cable for my rift is actually running out before I've even run out of tracking room. Wait, here we go. And I can't really reach out of the zone there because there's stuff in the way. But yeah, and it's a quite a large ship. It's very awesome looking, much better than the Eagle, which I have in storage here. Yeah, it's got uh, pulse lasers, and it looks like I can, in I can install some other hard points, but right now I want to do missions before I get enough money for that. So, yeah. Oh man, this thing looks so cool. I love the Viper, it's much better than the Eagle. I mean, the Eagle looks much, much better than the Sidewinder, but this just looks epic. It's huge. Yep, uh, how, how long? A minute now. Okay, so that's good. But in the meantime, we'll uh, check out some... Oh, oh yeah, and I also accepted a whole bunch of missions, so... Should have a lot of options for money-making now, and it looks like even more have just popped up. Two units of synthetic fabrics. Source two units from a suitable market. Pay the goods to the Aravate. Yeah, probably not. I'm not the kind of person that does those types of missions. Um, data couriering to... <laughs> looks like marijuana, but... My Harua or something. This is in LTT18486, and I don't want to... I don't want to accept any more missions, because I already got a pretty full plate, as you can tell from the transactions. We deliver some samples, well, salvage samples. Uh, what are they like? Well, I know that I need to scan some things, I think. Yeah, I need to scan the nav beacon so that I can find where those are, I believe. Stored modules. Come on, less than a minute. Huh. Let me check something. Oh yeah, and you can use your mouse for this, but I use the gamepad usually. Gamepad and keyboard. What other stuff here? The empty internal compartment is where my vehicle hangar is going to go. Um, planetary approach suite. It's because I have horizons that I have that. Uh, livery. Paint job. Okay, wait. Yeah, it was the decals that I have. Some decals here. I need to install. There we go. But look at that. That looks cool.
dashboard one. Oh yeah, and those were for like bobbleheads or something, but you have to get the those outside of things. Oh, and it looks like my vehicle hangar's here, so I'm gonna transfer to this ship right in this empty compartment. Transfer. Oop, there. Now that should be, yep. I got my scarab in there. I suppose we will launch. Oh man, this is the largest ship I've had. It's so weird because the dashboard is much further in front of me. And I'm not used to that. The Eagle has a very small cockpit. This is wide. Go track the landing gear. Also, this thing's a bit heavier, I think. I think it has a much higher top speed. Yeah, holy cow. I'm going real fast, and I haven't even put all power to the engines. Let's see how fast I can get this thing to go. Full power to engines here. Ooh, look at that. Non-boost speed is already faster than, like... And then boost speed is like, boom! Holy cow, I'm going like 400 miles per hour here. That is excellent. Okay. Frame Charging up frame shift. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay, so there's there's got to be a nav beacon, or we could land on this, maybe. These are all in the L three. Yeah, the 3447, but this one is the Aravate system. And it looks like, I, th I think the mission, like, told me to scan the nav beacon, so I need to find the nav beacon, and I think that's usually close to the star. Nav beacon, yeah, there we go. Man, this thing is awesome. I love this ship. And the dashboard side things are much larger too. I think to scan the nav beacon I have to drop out of Super Cruise. This might be a rather short episode, so... Yeah, I should have slowed down. Let me loop back around here. And there's the nap beacon. This thing also it seems like it's much faster in Super Cruise, too. Oh wait, did I install the fuel scoop? I might not have installed the fuel scoop. Or this thing just has a built-in fuel scoop or something. Come on, get me to the nag beacon here. Getting closer. Real close. And then drop out. Ooh, hey. Hello, everyone. <coughs> Didn't it tell me to scan the nav beacon? I do have a discovery scanner on here, right? Yeah, see? Discovery scanner. 
So why you no scan? I need to be like really darn close. <laughs> it went through me. Okay, well that was weird. I might just end the episode here because I don't fully know what I'm doing. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.